Now let's talk about the five best things to do in Panama. Now imagine you go to New York and you don't see the Statue of Liberty, you don't even see the skyline and you don't have a nice delicious bagel, the typical one. This is something you don't want to miss out. Now in Panama this happens quite often. Now I as a ex-tour guide and a resident of over four years here will tell you what you definitely do not want to miss out here. Now I will share the highlights with you exclusively in this little video and I will give you one secret idea which almost no one actually knows about. Now let's talk about Boca's experience, a beautiful laid back culture, stunning beaches and affordable prices. And not only that, imagine when I went the first time to Bocas del Toro, I had no expectations besides going there and making party. But at the end of the day, what happened? I actually did something completely different. I went there with a friend, we met up with a guy, a really, really great fighter in Muay Thai who even lived in Thailand for some time. We get along so well that he made as a private training and we didn't pay anything we just got along so well so we trained literally every day we were running fighting swimming every day at least three to five hours so it was quite an intense experience but a really beautiful one that i really cherish until the day of today because this is something i never ever will forget when we jumped into the beautiful water directly five meters where the boats were swimming and made it challenging in every sense possible. So on top of all that, you feel like if you would be actually in Jamaica, because all the time they speak some kind of Spanglish, yeah, mix between Spanish and English, and you feel literally like if you would have been lost on some islands in Jamaica. Now let's talk about Panama City, starting from the skyline, where I actually fell in love at El Faro with the view, the life there, and the lifestyle itself. And I said, well, this is the place I definitely want to stay and I want to live. I would even dare to say that Panama is between the top five countries worldwide where you have the biggest variety of foods, different foods. Another beautiful thing is definitely walking around the historic Casco Viejo district. This is something you feel like you would be in starting to get to know the 18th or 1900s. So you even feel like if you would have been lost in an Italian village in the 18 or 1900s, and it's just an amazing vibe, great food, great coffee, really nice people and a great place to stay. Now let's talk about Bocchete. Enjoy the perfect weather, coffee tours, nature, and the vibrant flora and fauna. Because Bocchete, let's just put it that way, the best place for coffee lovers, nature lovers, and it's not for nothing that Panama has the best discovered rainforest in the world. So you can imagine you can do a lot of cool stuff, you can do zip lining and many, many other things and having just a great time. When I went there on my own, I had a great view. I felt like I was almost in the rainforest in Germany actually, because the weather was similar. It was a bit cloudy and still really delicious. The climate was very, very nice and you have just a great time. You even maybe need to put on a jacket so it's not getting too cold, especially when it's winter time. Yeah, there at least you can really expect some lower temperatures. What my favorite part was in Chiriki, Boquete, was actually when we stayed with a family there in an Airbnb or close to them and they actually made some really nice barbecue, talked about what happened, what changed the last couple of years and all the different options from uh, the Volcan. Yeah, it's a little village where you can go. It's a little bit higher than the rest and it's quite cold actually, but quite nice and you have really great food markets there. Now let's talk about Santa Catalina and Isla Coiva. Yeah, Isla Coiva is my secret spot for you because Santa Catalina alone already has a lot to offer. 
great beaches, you can surf there. Uh, really, really great. You have Pacific beaches. You can do there some whale watching and have a diverse marine life for scuba diving. I would even dare to say between the three or top five at least of the best scuba diving places where you can have just a great time and it's way, way, way too underrated still. I myself loved it there because we stayed there with an Italian guy in a wood bungalow and the experience and the whole vibe there is just amazing. Now of course we can't miss some blasts on this list because relaxing on beaches that you normally see in magazines, swimming with dolphins and enjoying a Caribbean vibe with Bali style bars on islands is just out of this world. You even see some little sharks maybe yeah but not the really dangerous ones so don't worry about that but Sun Blast is really out of this world. You get to know more about the Gunayala history which is really beautiful too. They have their own school system even there and it's just a one-of-a-kind experience that you don't want to miss out. And let's talk about Gamboa, a unique nature experience. Explore the rainforest, encounter toucans and crocodiles even from a restaurant which is just mind-blowing. You have a great view and see the whole sea and the whole Gamboa lake, so to say. And it's beautiful. You have all these little crocodiles and turtles and toucans. So it's definitely one of a kind experience. You can go there zip lining. You can go there wander through the jungle. And this is something you never forget in your life. So you can make a day trip from Panama City or multiple day adventure for an in-depth exploration of Panama's rich biodiversity. Panama offers a unique and underdeveloped tourism experience ensuring you to have a great time without the crowds of mass tourism. Consider visiting at least three of these destinations to make the most out of your trip. Now definitely do not miss out on the video about where I talk about the five best food places to go in Panama. Now share your favorite places in Panama with us in the comments and subscribe for more videos about hidden gems and Panama local favorites.